practice good cattle handling skills and beef quality assurance skills, beef quality assurance. So we're going to really handle our vaccine right, we're going to cast weight control right, we're going to set it all up, we're going to get this camera here, we're going to have two ropers in at a time, we're going to stay in a walk, we're going to roll these cows, stand in the or just in a walk, we're going to walk out, Ryle and I will show how we like to wrestle, if anybody else has any better ideas, that's fine. Here we'll do our the work, and then they're going to go right out that gate back to the mother and get a big old drink of milk. That's, I think this is one of the best forms of branding that you can do. As soon as the calf has stress on him, he goes right home. If we do things right, so uh, we're going to nice and slow. We don't have too many to do. We're going to figure things out. Things get too fast. We can slow things down. And, Anybody gets offended by me telling them to slow down, that's your problem. If you get offended by me telling them to hurry up, that's my problem. <laughs> so, so we're going to keep it low key and slow. If your horse gets bothered and excited, we're going to fix your horse. You guys all know how to run this. You just draw it back to 30 doses. So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six shots. Let's go to 25 doses. It's five doses per shot, per animal. So they're set here on top for five. Let it come back. Now we're gonna give them a shot in the neck, in a triangle neck, and we'll show you where that is. And so when we get them restrained and held down, then the vaccinators will come up. They'll, they'll give a shot in the neck. We'll do this five times. Then you take your needle off, put it, we need a sharps bottle. We'll use one of these bottles for a sharps bottle. We'll put our used needles in that. And then we'll put a new needle on and draw. We'll never draw out of the vaccine with a used needle. Always a new needle comes into the vaccine. Here. We'll draw our 25 in. And then if you don't get, if you miss a shot or something, it's all right, just start. We got lots of vaccine. That work? So this Saturday here at the ranch, we had a great big branding event party um, that we wanted to to incorporate here, like they do up north, and, and bring that down to this part of the country where that is that's pretty unheard of, where people from surrounding farms and ranches gather together and help each other out and uh, share a meal and, and just have a great time. And you know, we had the Driggers family come out; they assisted. That was. That was great. We had the Whitney family. Um, Ryle Pate was here. He, he helped us out a ton and taught us quite a bit. Um, we had the Young family, and then uh, we were honored to have Mr. Earl Pepper come from uh, the ranch that he manages over on the Oklahoma-Arkansas border. He came over and hung out and uh, helped us with this branding. So it, it was just a great time, uh, able to showcase uh, our ranch and you know how the the proper way of handling cattle and stockmanship and horsemanship and just you know um, show these people and get the word out that there there are better ways to do things and you, you don't have to scream and holler and yell and just enjoy each other's company and keep the cattle low stress and us low stress it was just I couldn't have asked for a better better time so um, being able to bring those those cultures um, that they've done for hundreds and hundreds of years branding event down here and do that and start to do that every year um, you know I believe will prevent the cowboy from being a dying breed so this uh, video is going to show the branding event uh, it's going to show a little bit of the castration it's going to show um, the, the roping and healing and dragging them to where we work and just everything that went into it so it was really cool this is a really cool video um we, we horse backed up to the pasture where the cattle were at we drove them all the way down to the corral across a couple pastures uh, sorted the cattle off from the calves in the pen and then uh went to work on the calves and as soon as we were done they were back with their mothers 
and then we had a big lunch, um, drip drop barbecue uh, from Hot Springs. They catered catered to us, which is great. And then we, after lunch, drove the, the cattle, the that part of the herd, back up to the rest of the herd. So it was just a great event, great time. Um, can't wait to do it again. And uh, now that we're starting this process, you know, maybe other people at other ranches will start to do this as well, and we'll go help them. So that's the plan. That's the hope is that, you know, this community of cowboys starts um, gathering together and, and becoming more of a community instead of just segregating themselves. So thanks, guys, for watching. Mm-hmm.